Is that for you any good? There you go guys. Great. That's that for you, sir. Lovely. Thank you very Super much. Super duper. There Thank you go. And there's you. And there's your forks. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Much appreciated, guys. Okay, all the best. Enjoy. What a beautiful day, isn't it? Lovely. Right, yeah. So it stays like this, eh? Been warm, yeah, so I'm so sure, so. but you know, it'll, it'll <laughs> no, do us for now. Judges and goats, cheese, crap. Mm. It's nice and warm, savoury. Mm. Quite, um, Quite filling, really. Embedded in these glorious white chalk cliffs are these lumps of flint in layers made from animals uh, embedded in the rock and the mud millions of years ago and probably in different parts of the world. Now looking more closely at these pebbles, you can see the white ones are made of chalk and they're rounded off by the waves of course, but the white chalk ones don't survive, they just break up. But the other ones made of flint like this one will last for quite a while. And the brown ones, sometimes they're made of fired clay, in other words bricks. This freshly uh, broken piece of flint is as sharp as a scalpel. Well, it's uh, Wednesday, I think. No, it's Tuesday, um, and I'm in Eastbourne, and uh, very, very nice it is too. 
uh, fascinating these buildings here uh, Eastbourne known for its uh, genteel residents sometimes quite elderly ones <laughs> so it's quite nice um, I've been given 40 minutes to have a walk around because Margaret hurt her knee yesterday so she's gone back to the car to read a book and um, I'm just wandering around the streets taking pictures of various things and there's plenty of various things to take pictures of it's great I like it This is Ashdown Forest, where Winnie the Pooh was invented. No, it's where Winnie the Pooh lived. Over there. So we move on to Chiddingstone, which is in Kent, the next county along. And this village is a medieval village that dates back to the 15th century. This is the Castle Inn at Chillingstone and dates back to Tudor times. Next door to the Tudor village is a more modern building, although built in the Victorian times, and that's Chillington Castle. As we will see later on, many of these country houses have fantastic grounds and very interesting trees. The county of Kent is quite famous for its oast houses. They farm buildings which had a special roof on them that allowed the hops to dry out, ready to go to make beer. Many of these buildings are now converted into quite nice houses. Later that day, I just got back in time to see the sun go down in quite a dramatic fashion. The city of Brighton on the south coast of England is famous for many things, including the Royal Pavilion, which was built in 1787 for George IV. And here is a statue of him in all his glory. It was built as a place for him to go to the seaside. Many of us manage with a wooden hut and a patch of sand, but not George. This lovely man had worked in the gardens for many years and was explaining the uh, work that was needed to maintain them. It's, um, it's very high maintenance, people don't realise. Really? Oh, huge maintenance. Because oh. it's all these shrubs, everything has to be kept at a certain size. Otherwise, it, you know, everything wants to get big. It would go mad. Yeah. So, so every year we have to keep all this without it looking yeah. deliberately done. It all has to be done to make it look natural. So pruning, you can't cut 
spoon things into a bowl because that's too formal. So you have to make sure that everything oh, right, still yes. keeps its natural shape. Yeah, that's quite a challenge. Mm. You seem quite dedicated. Well done, sir. Well, I'm finishing. <laughs> I've only got five weeks left. Oh, wow. Will you miss it? I've been here 25 years. Well, I will, really? I will miss it. I will miss it. Brighton is noted for its artistic communities and its acceptance of various social lifestyles. It's a very popular seaside destination for people of the South East and London in particular. Well, hello, it's uh, Friday the 7th of May. 2021 and here we are still in Sussex. I mean look at this. It's just beautiful And you think I'm in the middle of the countryside somewhere in fact, I'll just Come out of the cottage It is very very pleasant and I'm going to uh, Have an hour to myself which is a, a treat because uh, Margaret's hurt her knee and uh, It's going to take it a little bit easy uh, we walked a little bit yesterday around in Brighton and so uh, today we're off to a, a park up the road called Sheffield Park or miles from Sheffield why it's called that I don't know uh, National Trust place so uh, we'll take it easy there this afternoon which is our last full day here in Sussex <laughs> Heard the cuckoo this morning. All oh, right, I'll keep an ear open. If you follow this, basically staying inside the boundary line, yeah, uh, there's a pond. Oh, really? And then it turns sharp right and right. Then goes up on the hill. I've got to end up back up St George's. Exactly. Place. You went there and then it would find your way back around again. Yeah. And it takes you up the hill then. Right, lovely. I'll try that. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Don't get lost though. I'll try not to. Here's a great example of a tree with hardly any trunk above the surface. It's got a huge branch coming out, just a couple of feet from the ground level. I think it might be a beech tree. Not sure. That must be a kennels. Surely it's a kennel. Unless somebody's got a lot of uh, very excited dogs. I have learned that no one else can carry this load It's a train where I'm the only passenger on board Oh, there is beauty to enjoy on this road but even We're talking of trunkless trees You know, branches coming up from very close to the ground Look at this fella I still feel that And this one made it down to the pond here it is very nice too there's a, there's a rope hanging here <laughs> I don't know not want to swing off that and drop into that water it's a bit grimy a bit pondy so now I've got to sort of head left and back up the hill back to the cottage <laughs> So on our final afternoon in Sussex, we went to Sheffield Park and Garden, which by the way is nowhere near Sheffield, it's just called that. It has very colourful rhododendron bushes and azaleas and also some huge trees. <laughs>
England is a green and pleasant land, and the reason being, it rains. And it rained all day as we drove back the 160 miles back home to the Midlands. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll meet up again next time. Okay, bye-bye.